So Ryan has all this gum here, like packs on packs. And Rob just asked me, hey, can I waste this pack of gum? And it's like, well, obviously you could waste that pack of gum because I already wasted my life. Bruh. I didn't know it was that deep. So do you want the gum bag? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just waste the gum. Here's the thing, guys. We're doing crazy challenges on the vlogs now. Whoa. I'm gonna try to stuff all these in my mouth and see how big the bubble could be. Is that safe? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. There's one. How much are in a pack? One, two, three, four, five times three, 15. And I dropped out of school and I still knew that. Okay, here's the second one. Do you think I'll be able to blow a bubble from this or can you only blow bubble bubbles on like bubble gum? Well, I know for a fact, certain gums have more elastic. Mm, you're right. These are more meant for. So why'd you get so much gum? I just saw a big pack and I said, oh, this is better than just getting one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was five and this is it. Smells oh. good. Minty. I don't gotta brush my teeth today. How's life? How's life? Life is uh is interesting right now. You can say that again. I haven't uploaded on my main channel in a month. Whatever. When was the last one? The Disney Channel. Oh, time moves a little too quick. I just filmed that. Dude, it's a whole month already? Season month one's over. We gotta give him a break before we go into season Yay! two. Has anyone ever seen The Walking Dead or... Don't y'all gotta wait for another season of Stranger Things? Yeah, we're the same thing. I'm still logged out of my Twitch account. Still follow me, I'm still logged out. I can't stream anymore for some reason. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. My throat's starting to burn though. It's like too much mint. I'm coming for uh, Matt Stoney's brand right now. Blow a bubble in your stomach or something? You fart the bubble out. Yeah. Would you try that? Like do like an eating challenge? Or can you not eat fast? I don't think I could eat fast like that. I'm scared to choke. I choked when I was younger and like, it was really bad. Oh. Like I got went to the hospital and stuff. Choked over what? Popcorn, I choked on popcorn. Like several? Like my family thought I was gonna die. Like it was like lodged in my throat. And like, I was too young to say I was choking. My grandma was like, I think he's choking. You just silently died? <laughs> Wow. Then I came back to life. What is even gum? When did they start inventing this? Gum? I think it was like an old military thing where they tried to make like some sort of putty. Someone started chewing on it and then that's how like gum was made. Actually, I don't know. Someone at some point made something like this and put it in their mouth and just chewed, it, chewed on it for a long time. 15 splices. It's like causing too much saliva in my mouth and like I'm salivating and then I'm swallowing that saliva, but it's like too strong. Like the moment we've all been waiting for. How do you feel about this, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> like, Can I do it? Yeah, I how many 15 slices? Yeah. Are they called slices? Or pieces? sticks of gum, right? I don't know. I always say, can I have a slice of that? Your gum? Really? I say piece. Oh. Piece. Pieces of gum. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, so what? Are, what's happening? Are you going more? Oh, bubble. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. How do we get here? It hurts my jaw. <laughs> now, my thing is bubble gum. Like, there's that pink kind that's meant for blowing bubbles. But as we know, like, the extra isn't meant for blowing bubbles. So, I bet you it's going to be a weekend <laughs> bubble, even all those people. <laughs> they should have told me that a little before. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's too much. You did all this. Come on, one more try. <laughs> I'm never doing anything else with a vlog, dude. I thought it was gonna be a fun thing. Damn, all the pieces, he couldn't get one bubble. I think it was too much. Anyone want this? Yeah. Comment down below. I give up. What else are we gonna do? Ryan, do you have any other better ideas? The new apartment that we're getting. The new new. The new new. Third apartment. Here's what's corny about being an adult. We're not the YouTuber. We can't go buy a mansion. No, I can't. We're looking at apartments that are affordable. Thanks for submitting your application. Can you please email me your two most recent bank statements? I, I am a child. I don't know how to do any of this. PDF, full form pages, please. Unfortunately, we don't accept pictures or screenshots of any income. Rob, you're older. What am I supposed to do? What do you need? Thank you for submitting your application. Can you please em email me your two most recent bank statements, PDF, full form pages, please. Unfortunately, we don't accept pictures or screenshots of any income. You can email, ma'am, 
With all due respect, what do you think I photoshopped the, the pic? You can't. They don't want no pictures, but they want you to email it. So I uploaded uh, pictures, mm -hmm. screen grabs of our income, and that wasn't good enough. Ma'am, do you want me to bring you my laptop? Look, here's what it says. I can't photoshop this. This is live, honey boo. So I don't know, dude. I have to go and ask my mommy what to do. I was reading The Female Brain by Luann. What is that, the Dean? MD, what does that stand for? MD. That is your doctorate. So what does MD stand for? Master degree? Ma master's degree, Ma something doctorate? I don't know. I don't know. So uh, I was trying to understand the female brain. It was just laying around, so I was like, I just picked it up. And then basically, I don't even know who ordered this, but yeah, um, I highlighted some points that I wanted to bring up just for the sake of bringing it up. Yeah. Been learning more songs? I have been. Uh-oh. You know, I'm in the journey of finding myself and trying to see like who I really am and who I want to be. What's my hobby? I feel like it's important to have a hobby. I feel like music and like, like this is a hobby. Like I'm not great at it. I just like playing it. I don't have to share it. I'm just, it's for me. Like, what's your hobby? I'm trying to start reading. Like, well, that's a good hobby. Cause well, I would say reading is an interest. I think it's important to have hobbies and interests. And uh, I'm definitely right. interested in reading more, but a hobby, I want to learn how to solve the Rubik's cube. Yeah, like I think it's, and I have one, you can practice. I think it's important to have a hobby. Cause as of right now, yeah, I don't really have it's any. It's good to unplug from like your career or your work and just do something for yourself. So I've been trying to learn like little songs and stuff. Comment down some hobbies that I could learn guys. Yeah. I like playing it. video games. Like that's, that's I a, guess hobby. a hobby. The female brain. This book was more about it was book smart. It wasn't a very street smart book. I don't want to see another piece of gum for about another three months. This part of the video is dudes only. So if you're a chick, get out. Side note, I'm rocking the mustache because I wanted to regrow this to have it all come in the same length. So Rob, let me tell you something about uh the female brain. So I was reading this book. It was very scientific and it basically details the the lifespan and the life development of the female brain. It was talking about well, when toddlers and this, I was like, I don't care about that. I'm trying to get to the nitty gritties. Now look, y'all, this is the book. This ain't even me talking. So if y'all got a problem with this, go to her, go to Luann. This I thought was interesting. Because of the fluctuations that begin as early as three months old and last until after menopause, a woman's neurological reality is not as constant as a man. His is like a mountain that is worn away imperceptibly over the millennia by glaciers, weather, and deep tectonic movements of the earth. Hers is more like the weather itself, constantly changing and hard to predict. Hence, why I, nobody can understand women or girls in general and they're always flip flopping and this and that. Well, I like him and I like that and well, I wanna do this now. Well, I feel good now, I feel good. It's because their logical reality is not as constant as a man's. Not saying that that's a bad thing, that's just how it's set up. Contact her for any issues. I'm, I'm about to like pull this book out if, if I'm with a girl and be like, well, I know why you're acting like that. Well, on page six of the female And they're like, according to page this. <laughs> And she has her degree. And well, you see the sources here. You see how many sources this is? It's almost a superpower. Like if you know all this stuff. Right. I'm just like the asshole guy that's just like, well, actually, <laughs> like we're, takes the fun out of everything. She's actually. crying and you just gotta pull the book out. And that's why. And you're crying because of the, on page six, women's emotional stuff like, and we have a situation in which women can perceive a few unpaid bills as a stress that appears to be life threatening. This response impels the female brain to react as though the family were endangered by impending catastrophe. The male brain will not have the same perception unless the threat is of imminent physical danger. Hence why my mom keeps blowing up on me about little insignificant things and I'm like, mom, chill, like, we good. Now, maybe that's just because I'm like not responsible, but this is basically saying a woman can perceive a small issue and they will they will react as though it's life threatening, whereas men won't react like that unless the thing actually is life threatening. I'm just saying what I'm reading. Yeah, have y'all ever experienced that in any situation with a girl? Girls overreacting? Yes, <laughs> all the time. The girls will think that if they do it just right, they'll get a reaction they expect. It's the same kind of instinct that keeps a grown woman going after a narcissistic or otherwise emotionally unavailable man. If I just do it right, he'll love me. Um, this book was saying how women from a young age look uh, for facial features and, and look to get reactions out of people to validate their own important. Meaning like, if I go, hey Rob, la la la, and that's why the chicken crossed the road. And then I'm gonna look at you and if you don't make a reaction to that, I'm gonna be like, 
am I not funny? Like, mm -hmm. am I not funny enough? So it's like they're looking for exterior things to give them validation. That's why women go after men who are emotionally unavailable mm. or just narcissistic and don't care about them is because they are trying to evoke something like, hey, all these other guys I was able to make an impact on and all these other guys were talking to me and giving me validation and stuff. This guy's not giving me anything. Give me something. I can change it. If you want girls to be more pressed on you, again, this is my observation based on the book, you have to be emotionally unavailable. You can't be, oh, hey, cutie pie. Oh, you're so amazing. Like, a girl's not gonna want you if you act like that, so. If you're a girl, you've been programmed to make sure you keep social harmony, which means girls aren't very confrontational. There are confrontational girls and there are situations where women will become very confrontational, but for the most part, women's brains are rooted in the concept of they want social harmony. I, I've had plenty of girls leave me on red or leave me left, leave me with no explanation or, I'm like, wait, why can't you be straight up with me and tell me I don't like you because of this or I don't think we're a good match or blah, 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 blah. Because that would mean that they're getting into some sort of conflict and they're getting into some sort of confrontation, which women typically don't like to do. So if a girl leaves you hanging or is like being iffy or not explaining stuff to you, it's easier and less, I guess, uncomfortable to just ignore it. If if you're asking me, hey, what happened? I'd be like, damn, we're good. And they'll just leave. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So, and then also one of my friends, it was a girl I was talking to, and some girl was being really mean to the girl I was talking to. I said, why don't you block her and forget about her? Well, I, I don't want to block her because she's, Oh, I don't know. I was like, bro, you never blocked someone? She's like, I never blocked someone on Instagram uh, before. I was like, same way I know girls that have their exes or guys that don't like that keep messaging them. They're like, can you believe he keeps hitting me up? Doesn't that, you can block the person. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. It's like they almost want that to happen. That's a great point. Women will, ah, oh, he keeps hitting me up. You realize there's a block button or there's like, you don't have to speak to them or. Yeah, why not get rid of the issue? I've seen girls where there'll be a guy that they're not interested in at all, and the guy will text them a bunch of times, they'll not respond, and then on the fifth time, they'll respond. And it's like, she's like, well, I just responded just because, like, I don't know, I just... You know that you don't want anything out of him, and he provides you no value, and you don't like him, and you're not attracted. So why on earth are you even... Because they want the social harmony, and they don't want mm. to have people not liking them, mm -hmm. or... Yeah, because like if you block him, now it's like, oh, he's gonna hate me. They can't handle women that. Women don't like that. They want to feel like they're good with everybody, so...